JSON data, JSON LD data to enhance your, your SEO to help your search results. So we have one app right now and we ran ads. Um, so if you have an app and it's published, you can run the ads. So you go to your Shopify partners backend, click on apps and ads, and you have your information. So let's start really simply by creating a first search ad. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna click on create search ad and I'm gonna have a drop down menu of all the apps that I have in the marketplace in the app store, right? Um, so I click on it and I, I create a, a name for myself that I'm gonna remember. So I can just call it standout SEO. Um, and I'm gonna set a, a actual budget, an ad budget based on my daily budget. For example, I wanna pay $10 a day. And now you're gonna actually set up the keyword targeting. So Shopify apps, let's look at the store itself. So what is keyword targeting? So you're running ad ads based on what people are searching in the search box. So for example, we do SEO. So if someone types in SEO um, optimize, let's say that keyword, if I wanna run and show my app as an ad and here there are no ads themselves, I can show it, right? So let's look at another one, I'll show you how the ads look. Okay, so here you see at the top of the search result, there's an icon here, add, add, add. All of these three companies are in three apps, they're actually promoting their product via what we're actually showing in this video. So if I wanna find a, a I, I need to figure out what people are searching for, what my potential customers and store owners are searching for, and I need to find those keywords, right? So let's go here. So I'm gonna add the keywords, and I need to start typing, for example, SEO, and uh, SEO boost, and search engine optimization, etc. So I wanna find as many keywords as I can that I think people will search for. Um, and what I'm gonna do is specify two very important things. Number one is the match type. So I'll explain the two options that we have here. So broad match means that uh, the Shopify will determine if someone searched for that term, let's say SEO, um, Shopify will determine terms that are very similar that it can also show for your ad. So if I type in SEO, for example, and someone, someone types in, let's say, SEO uh, structured data, then the ad, my ad could show because the broad match is triggering SEO. So uh, Shopify defines the broad match as words that are very similar, synonyms, uh, and I've noticed that they also completely take it very far sometimes and they add terms of what they think are relevant. Sometimes they're not relevant and I'll explain later how to optimize the campaign. The other one is the exact match. So for example, SEO boost, if you type in exact match, the customer has to type in exactly this word, SEO boost, into the search in order to show the result. So if I type in SEO boost and I ran ad, I will see my ad. But for example, if I type in uh, SEO boosts or boost SEO or grow SEO or anything like that, obviously my ad would not show if I have the exact match. Uh, the next thing you uh, wanna do is specify the actual uh, per click uh, payment, how much you want to pay if someone actually clicks on your ad for this specific keyword. So uh, what Shopify does is obviously there's competition between advertisers and there's relevance and things like that, but whatever you specify here is going to be how much you pay. So if I say for Boost SEO, SEO Boost, I'm going to pay $3.21. If someone clicks on my ad, that's exactly how much I'm going to pay. Uh, in Google AdWords and Facebook, etc., there's a little difference between the way the calculation. Typically, you specify like the maximum you're willing to pay, but depending on the competitor, it's usually less. Here, you're paying exactly what you specify. Okay, so I'm gonna click on save, for example, and then I go here and I define my negative keywords. Negative keywords are really, really good because you want sometimes to not uh, showcase ads for, for people, right? So I, maybe I, I specified SEO boost, but for example, I don't want someone typing in free SEO boost. Maybe they're looking for a free app, right? And I'm a paid app, for example, so I'm gonna type an exact, right? So the broad and exact works the same. Um, so I would come up and think about terms that I think for sure people, if they search for, it's not relevant for my app. So I don't wanna waste my money on ads and show my app when I don't need to. So I click, okay, I save my things. I can see the ad preview. This is just this information I specified in my actual app itself. I can't control how the ad looks and I create the search ad. 
So I'm not going to create it because I already have one. So I'm going to discard this and I'm going to go here. Okay, so now you can see once you create it, you can see the actual report itself. So first of all, you have a date range picker, right? You can specify the, the date that you want to see your actual report. And you see, for example, in the last uh, few weeks, our app was running. I set a daily budget of $40. My, my ad was shown 73 times. I got two clicks. So twice I, I, uh, people clicked on it. And uh, the click-through rate is basically the division of how many times it was showed and how many times it was clicked. And you see that I got one install. So I paid for two clicks and I got one actual app install. And my conversion rate obviously was 50%. And it, I specified in my ad that I want to pay $1.33 for that specific term. And obviously they specify that two clicks took two clicks to get one install, so 133 times two. And then my total spend. So that's that's basically it, right? So if I click here, I'll be able to see more detail, right? So this is more information. I can edit the ad itself um, and I can see details about it, which keywords I have. These are the keywords I have. You see I have different bids on different keywords. I specified broad matches in this case, but I also specified uh, negative keywords. Okay, so I said I don't want, if someone types in, for example, export, it's not relevant to me, the, the word export to my app, I'm going to exclude it. So um, for the number one tip that I can give to do well uh, is if you're a starter, is what you do is specify many broad match terms, right? So these are my keywords, specify a lot of broad match. And then every day you go into your report and you click on search terms. These are the keywords that I wanna pr uh, promote my ad, okay? But search terms are actually the keywords that people actually search for, okay? And your ads, especially if they're broad or exact, they trigger those ads. So I'm gonna go daily to this and I'm gonna look at all the terms people search for and see the ones that are really not relevant to me. So for example, uh, let's say mobile boost is not relevant to me. I'll check box this and I'll click as, uh, sorry, I'll copy this and I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll go negative keyword and I'll specify and I'll click add and I'll specify if I want a negative keyword based on a broad or exact match. So this way you save money and you find terms that are more relevant to you and terms that are not relevant to you. This is the best thing you can do every day. Go specify, hey, uh, look at the keywords, look at the intention of what people are searching for, remove that. You see, this one, for example, is not even in English. My app is only in English. I can't even provide support. I would go here, copy it, and just go and negative keyword it. Say, for example, this. So in this case, I would do two things because I would uh, first exact match it. So I could do that. I don't want to show that, but I would also go here and uh, broad match, for example, you know what, let's do this. For example, I would say maybe, you know, the, not sure what this actually means. Go here and I would broad match this because I don't want anything. If it said boost the venti ultimate or, or more words, I can use the broad match to kind of uh, you know, specify more. Other than that, you have, you can pause your ad, you can archive it, obviously, if you don't want to run it anymore, and then you can see your billing information, right? So, hope you, uh, you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, over time, if there are new features, new things, I'll be happy to um, help with that. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, looking forward. Thank you very much.